But first tonight, the jury in the Bill Cosby trial breaks for the night, ending a long day of deliberations without a verdict. Deliberations have now lasted more than 15 hours. Good evening. I'm Jessica Dean. Yuki Washington has the night off. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is live outside the Montgomery County Courthouse in Norristown, where the waiting continues. Greg. And Jessica, it's been 16 hours and 15 minutes. That is how long the members of the jury have deliberated over the past two days. This evening around 930, Judge Stephen O'Neill sending the members of the jury back to their hotel, telling them get some rest. Tomorrow is a new day. Comedian Bill Cosby leaving the courtroom Tuesday night after playing the waiting game. <laughs> So far, 12 jurors spent more than 15 hours behind closed doors, seven men and five women from Allegheny County, who will determine whether or not the 79 year old could spend the rest of his life in jail. He's holding up. His spirits are good. Uh, he is, you know, being Bill Cosby. We appreciate the jurors for what they're doing. We appreciate them for putting it in time. Tuesday has been the first full day of deliberations, but since the case was handed over to the jury around 530 Monday afternoon, the 12 men and women have asked four questions, including asking the court to define the phrase without her knowledge. That wording is stated in one of the aggravated indecent assault charges Cosby is facing. I would see it definitely as a positive for the defense. Dave Farrell lives nearby and was walking his dog near the courtroom. Well, it's the biggest thing to hit the courthouse uh, ever. Farrell is an attorney closely following the case. He believes the jury's questions and their time deliberating both good signs for the legendary entertainer and his team. It would suggest to me that somebody on that jury is having a problem uh, with the Commonwealth case. That's just the way I see it. Now, I did speak with Brian McMonagall. He is Bill Cosby's defense attorney as he was leaving the Montgomery County Courthouse here this evening around 10 o'clock tonight. I asked him what he thought about the jury deliberating for more than 16 hours. He simply responded, this is a hardworking jury. Once again, the members of that jury, seven men, five women from Allegheny County, back here tomorrow to continue their deliberations at 9 a.m. We're live here at the Montgomery County Courthouse. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.